haul for you. Um, I don't do hauls on my channel very often because I do like to focus more on using up what I already own but every now and again there are some things that um, brands put out that I just I feel like I would really like to have them in my collection I really would enjoy using them in my collection and I'm not going to tell myself you can't have that you can't have that um, because then I might look back later on and say, I really wish I'd bought myself that. And one of the items that I have bought um, that I'm going to show you is one of those items that I wish I had bought it when it first came out. So it's uh, this haul is from uh, Body Shop um, Makeup Revolution or Revolution Beauty and also uh, some nail polishes from Barry M which I bought in Superdrug so uh, it's a few a few bits not a lot but um, yeah let's get into it so the item that I was talking about um, that I wished I'd bought it when it first was released was from Body Shop and it is this uh, this and a couple of other items as well. So this is uh, the Body Shop's Body Butter in the scent Vanilla Pumpkin. So uh, the lid design on this tub is absolutely gorgeous. You've got like a Day of the Dead skull made out of flowers. You've got a little pumpkin here and then it says Fall for Pumpkin on the lid. Um, and this came out last year. Um, this is the large tub, which is 200 mils. This scent came out last year as part of their like autumn release. And I did get a sample, like a little sample pot of the body butter. And I used it up and I thought it, oh, I just love the scent. Vanilla is my favorite scent of everything. It, if it's vanilla scented, I will, I will love it. Um, so yeah, I got a sample of this last year when it came out in 2017 and I fell in love with it and by the time I managed to have some spare money to go and treat myself to it, it had gone out of stock and I just never, I kind of never chased it up again, but it was always something that I was like, really wished I had, I really wished I had got that in my collection because it smells delicious um it's the body butters from the body shop are really nice on your skin um i just really really love it so when i saw that they were bringing it back this year by popular demand i was like yes i want some uh so actually my husband bought me this he um I was buying the next item I'm going to show you and he came up and he says here you might as well have the body butter as well you said you liked it so here you go um, the reason why I didn't pick this up myself was because this is 15 pounds for this tub and I was like mm, uh, I was still being that like careful with my money and how much I wanted to spend my husband doesn't have that in his head he just says you like it I've got the money here have it um, whereas I'm a little bit more mm, do I really need to spend 15 pounds on it so the panner in me is still like oh my god I can't believe this was 15 pounds but I do love the smell of this so that was the body butter in vanilla pumpkin from the body shop and the item that I had picked up myself, the item that I was buying, was three hand creams. Um, and the reason why I got three was they were on a three for two offer. So I technically got one for free. However, these are um, five pounds each from the body shop. I got two in vanilla pumpkin and I got one in the mango scent. Um, because I had a body scrub in the mango scent and I just think the smell is delicious. It's my, like, my favourite smell from the body shop, apart from the vanilla pumpkin, which is only seasonal, uh, whereas mango is there all the time. 
Um, but the reason why I picked up the three for two, um, I should have paid £10 for all three um, because they're £5 each. So technically I would have paid £10 for two and then got the third one for free. But I had £5 on my loyalty card, so I actually got all three hand creams for £5, which I thought was a bargain. The panner in me was like, yay, bargain. So, um, yeah, that's what I was buying at the till. And then my husband goes and gets me the body bar. So, yeah, so I've got two of the vanilla pumpkin hand creams and one of the mango um hand cream so I am set for hand creams for a while and it really really is a really nice scent that vanilla pumpkin is just stunning so let's get on to the nail polishes um, the first one I actually have on my nails today this is over a blue and it, these are the um, four nail polishes that um, are added to the Barry M under the sea range so um, as you can see it's got um, seahorses starfishes fishes um, on the lid and then it says under the sea here and this one is in moonfish so I have that one as I say on my nails today so I've got a nice light blue there then a little bit of a darker blue this one uh, has a little bit of like green shimmer shift to it and that one is in electric eel then we go a little darker with a red and this one has like a bit of a green flash in it again like green and brown and that one is pacific flame and then the final one is like a purple with a gold and green shift. So it's really, really pretty. And that one is in Seahorse. So yeah, I got all of these uh, nail polishes to add to my collection. I already had the original four in the Barry M Under the Sea collection. And when I saw that they were doing another four in the collection I just knew I had to get them to add add to the other four so now I have eight of the under the sea collection and of course I had to buy them because I love mermaids I love mermaids so the next place I went shopping <laughs> I went shopping online um, and actually I don't know about anybody else but I do a lot of window shopping online so I will go on to like Superdrug website or Boots website and I will be having a gander through and I'll put a couple of things in my basket knowing full well that I have no money to buy them at that particular time or even when it comes to payday knowing that I probably won't buy them anyway they're just things that if I had some spare money I might purchase um, I do that all the time and one of the other uh, websites that I do that with is revolutionbeauty.com so uh, obviously I heart revolution and um, revolution you know they're all on the same thing so I had put an order onto there of some things that I've been eyeing up that have come out recently and I was coming to bed the other evening and all of a sudden I get an email through on my phone saying uh, thank you for your purchase and I was like huh and, um, and my naughty little husband he's not little he's six foot odd um, <clears throat> my naughty husband had decided he was going to treat me to my basket from revolutionbeauty.com so this is thanks to my husband so thank you darling um he spoils me he really really does so um one of the first things i picked up it was this it's rather a large bottle i never realized how big this was going to be i thought it was going to be a lot smaller more like their um their setting spray sort of bottle sizes but this is huge um 
it is 236 millilitres or 8.26 floral ounces um, and this is the I Heart Revolution Mermaid Splash fragrance spray and this is a coconut waves fragrance so it smells really nice of coconut it's got a really nice like spray so so really really nice fine mist you can really smell the coconuts in it and um yeah i really really like this so so happy that i got this and um yeah it smells so nice so i got that and then i was running out of concealers um and i was going to try some different concealers that i've never used before that's what i tr generally try to do um when i'm if i am running out of something or i want to buy a new concealer or a new foundation i will generally try and buy something that i haven't tried before however um i have tried the revolution conceal and define concealer but this is the super size one and i've only had the smaller ones um and i do like this concealer i really really do like it i have it on under my eyes today and um i just really i like this concealer i like how it sits on my face i like how it doesn't crease under my eyes um and do you know what if it's not broke don't fix it so i decided i would uh see and um if the super size lasts me a little bit longer than the smaller fat chubby um, this is the original size this is the super size so you can see you know the difference um they're still sort of you know the super size really is a lot bigger than the smaller one so um but same packaging um, so yeah, I'm hoping that this is now going to last me a lot longer than the smaller size because the smaller size um, with constant use lasts me about six to eight weeks. So if this can last a little bit longer than that, that would be great. So I picked this up and I'm in the shade C3. So as I was picking up the super size concealer, of course I had to pick up the new foundation. So this is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I got mine in the shade F4, uh, so it's slightly darker than the concealer. It is what I am wearing today. And I actually, I really, really like this. Um, the way I applied it, I applied, I applied quite a thin layer um, because I was a little bit wary of it for my first time use it's the first time i've used it today um so i put kind of like a thin layer on i only put a couple of strokes on each cheek one on my chin uh one on um like three on my nose so one down the middle and then one either side and then uh, three strokes on my forehead one straight up and one to the side and one to this side blended it out with um, make a uh, real techniques blending sponge and it was quite a thin like light to medium coverage for me in that way um, but I like that I prefer a lighter to medium coverage than a full thick coverage um, mainly because I do have good skin for my age I am very lucky I do have good skin but because I am getting older um, my skin just can't carry full coverage like a younger person probably could carry it off so I was a little wary about buying this because I knew it was going to be full coverage but actually once I applied it all my worries went away and I really really like this foundation so I will see how it wears throughout the day if my mind changes on this i'm i'll let you know um but so far so good so yeah that was the revolution conceal and define full coverage foundation in f4 
The next item, I kind of got this to bump up my order because my order came to £34. And if you ordered £35 worth on the Revolution Beauty website, you would get free shipping um, or postage and packaging as we call it here in the UK. Um, so I thought, well, rather than spending one ninety five on the postage and packaging, um, because my order was only thirty four pounds, I went decided to go onto the sale um, sort of tab on the website and see what was on the sales because they did have quite a few items that were like a pound or two pound or three pound on there. So I thought I might as well buy something. Um, and I saw this. This was the Freedom Pro Studio Brush Shower Antibacterial Brush Cleaner. So it's quite shiny packaging. So I do try and clean my brushes fairly regularly, maybe once a month, maybe once every six weeks. Um, but I don't, I have a solid brush cleaner which I got from Makeup Revolution. Um, but I don't have anything to just kind of like spot clean quickly, um, which I'm hoping this will help me do. So, yeah, I bought a brush cleaner just to that was only two pounds on the um, sale tab on the website. So instead of paying two pounds for shipping, I just spent two pounds and got myself a brush cleaner. Why not? And the last thing I bought. And this was the thing that made me want to do a revolution um, order was this. <laughs> so this is the revolution. Now that's what I call makeup palette for the 80s. So this is what it looks like on the back. And you've got all your numbers on the um on the shade so instead of names they're all numbered so you've got like one 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 two one five uh three one um six one six two six three that sort of thing um this is by i heart revolution when you open it up it comes in this packaging that is the front of the palette and in the back it's white with the sticker on saying 80s on there and again showing what the inside of the palette looks like and if I can get this open without breaking a nail get my trusted little tool inside you get a nice big mirror as always with Makeup Revolution and then those are the shades look at that look at that the 80s was obviously all about colour so here we have like some beautiful greens some beautiful blues some reds and pinks some oranges and browns just to like transition them all together some beautiful yellows here like a real like light uh, lemony yellow um, so yeah um, the columns are named with um, let's see if I can you so this one is let's dance this one is new romantics this one is electric this one is wild frontiers this one is throwback and the final one is neon so those are the names of the columns um, of the palette so let me closer in to see and I just think I just think the colors in here are just so beautiful I haven't even swatched it yet shall I swatch some okay that one's calling my name so I've gone for a lot of the glittery ones, but those are some of the colours. <sighs> that green. Wow. And those are the swatches. I mean, that is just... 
That is stunning, if I do say so. Um, so if you would like to see a Monday makeover using this palette, I will happily do that because I can't wait to play around with this palette. I really, really can't. So yeah, that was the Now That's What I Call Makeup 80s palette. Um, and the reason why I wanted to get this was because, I don't know if you're aware, but um, a few months back, MAC did a collection with a DJ and they brought out an eyeshadow palette that looked like a boombox, a tape palette, one that looked like a tape cassette palette, um, and I think that was a lip palette. And then they had like a palette that looked like a CD and that was like a face powder palette. And I really, really liked that design, that collection from MAC. But when I found out the prices of it, I mean, it was ridiculous. I think it was something like 70, 75 pounds for the eyeshadow palette. It does look like a big palette, but I haven't got 75 pounds to pay for an eyeshadow palette. So when I saw that Makeup Revolution um, was coming out with something very, very similar, um, but with its own like way, um, I was really, really happy. So yeah, so chuffed with that. Thank you. Yes, Ellen? So yeah, I was so happy when Revolution came out with this uh, range of palettes. They have the 80s, the 90s and the noughties. Um, the 90s was much more neutrals, browns, um, much more muted sort of colours. And the noughties was more oranges and yellows and reds, um, which I, the, those warm, to, uh, warm tones are quite nice. I mean, I have a brown eye look on today, but the bright colours of this one just pulled me in and I was born in 79. So yeah, I'm kind of a child of the 80s to 90s. So out of the 80s and 90s, I definitely preferred this palette. So that was my um, haul from Makeup Revolution. Or Revolution, I've got to get into the habit of saying that. However, they are currently doing their mystery bags. So if you spend, I think it's £30 um, on Revolution items, then you can get a mystery bag. Um, this is on their website currently, I do believe. So yeah, so I got this. I have had a gander, so I do know what's inside, but I thought I would show you what I got. So these are generally, I find these mystery bags are genuinely um, items from before they rebranded. So you'll get some freedom, you'll get some Makeup Revolution, you might get some um, of the other brands that they used to do, I can't remember. But um, these are sort of items that they have left over from before they rebranded. So you do get some kind of weird stuff. I Heart Makeup, that was the other one. So um, the first thing I got was this. So this was a Makeup Revolution Ultra Base Corrector Palette. So on the back you have all of this. Let me see if I can get in without breaking a nail. That would be fun. Tools, they come in handy. So it is the plain front and the plain back. And then inside again a lovely big mirror and then you have all these creams which are colour correctors. So you have a peach one. Oh no, this one's the peach one, sorry, I'm looking at it on the other side. Uh, so you have a peach one for like the to uh, neutralize the blue tones of um, dark circles under your eyes. You have a um, purple one, so like a lilac one, which helps with dullness. You have a green one, which helps with redness. A yellow one, which I can't remember what brightens, I think it does. Um, 
you've got a bit of a strobe one here so I think that's more like a strobe cream and then a couple of like concealers on this side so I don't know if I'm going to use this because I recently tried to pan a smaller palette um, color correcting palette from Makeup Revolution and I quickly realized that you know what I just don't use color correctors I don't need them um, I'm very very lucky with my skin tone that I don't actually need color correcting so I don't know whether I'm going to keep this and use it or give it away um, in a box swap or uh, to charity so because it's unused it's untouched I could possibly give this to a women's uh, shelter kind of charity so I'm going to hold on to that for now the next item I'm also not going to use it is a heart shaped silicone blender and this is the I heart makeup silicone heart sponge now I do have a silicone blender and I do use it I use it to apply face masks um, I find it really good at um, smearing on and smoothing a face mask onto my face um, I don't tend to use brushes to apply my face masks because then all the gunk gets into the bristles and then, then I have to clean the brush um, and I don't like using my fingers because it gets all underneath my nails so a silicone blender is really good for creating a smooth face mask all over your face um, but as I already have one I don't need a heart shaped one so I'll probably donate this Something I am going to keep is this. It is a Freedom uh, Bronzed Professional Pro Bronze Palette and it's in warm lights. So it's from Freedom Fro. Freedom Fro? What the hell? It's from Freedom Pro. It's got a darker shade to a medium to a lighter shade in here. I don't know if. Yeah swirling them all together um yeah just creates i don't know if you'll be able to see that just a really nice light sort of um powder for me so what i could use this for and what i what i probably will use this for is if my foundation is a little too light for my face um which I don't know if I should have used it today because I look like I have a little bit of a white face going on in the camera I don't know um, but if my foundation is a little bit too light for me then I can apply this and it might darken it up slightly for me so give a bit of a dusting all over with this and it might take some of that whiteness away from the foundation so yeah I'm gonna use it a bit like a setting powder I think that because it's a too light for a bronzer um, so yeah I'm gonna use that the next thing I was so excited I have been eyeing these up for ages and it is a I heart makeup lip lava so this is a liquid lipstick and this is in the shade forgiven now I hear the annoying thing about these is that the name is not on the packaging on the actual um, thing so this is what it looks like and it does have like a sponge tip applicator that's a nice shade so that is the shade of it so it's a real nice sort of like neutral shade so that is really nice so yeah the annoying thing of this is that the name of the shade is not on this packaging, it's only on the box, but they can be forgiven for that. <laughs> so that is that, so I'm going to keep that. The next item I do already own because a friend of mine sent me one. Uh, this is the Revolution Ultra Contour Kit uh, Lightning Contour 02. So this is the light version. So we have a bronzing powder in the middle and then we have like a setting powder on this side and then we have like a strobing cream on this side. Um, 
So because I already own this, I think I am going to set this aside. It is still sealed, so I can give this away to a woman's charity and they can use it. All of this is free, remember? So even if I only keep one of the items, um, I've made, I've, I've got something from it. This was free, so, you know, um, it doesn't matter if this was all useless to me. Um, somebody else is going to benefit from it anyway. So the last two items are lipsticks and I've kept these in there like plastic wrapping as well. Uh, this is a Revolution uh, lipstick in the shade, this is an Iconic Pro lipstick in the shade No Perfection Yet and it's this deep plummy colour. Now I know I have quite a few lipsticks, liquid lipsticks in this shade range. It's not a shade that I wear very often so I would rather work through the ones that I already have that are open, that I have used once or twice, then open a new one. Um, so I'm going to see if I can donate that one. And then this one is a Freedom uh, lipstick and this is in the shade uh, Tell Your Friends and it's kind of like a light pink and sorry but I'm just not a pink person. I don't, I don't. If I don't wear dark plummy lips very often, I wear pink lips even less often. So um, yes, so that one's going to stay in its wrapper and I'm going to donate that as well. So that was everything that was in the bag. That was my entire haul. So um, yeah, I was supposed to be on a no buy for August and September. Um, I got the nail polishes back in um, August and um, I got the Body Shop creams and the Makeup Revolution haul uh, just uh, this month in September. So um, yeah, my no buy is not going very well. It's more like a low buy. It is a low buy. And does it count if your husband buys you stuff if you're on a no buy? Does it still count? Um, because if it doesn't count, then I've only spent about 20 quid. So that's not too bad. So yeah, well, that is it. That is my haul. If you do want to see me do a Monday makeover using the Now That's What I Call Music palette, then do let me know and I will get that done for you as soon as possible. Um, and yes, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Hit that bell button so you'll be notified when my next video goes up. And I will see you in the next video.